What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, I'm going to showcase how to get unlimited money and unlimited experience points in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet without any hacking. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video if you enjoy it. I really appreciate it. So this weekend is the Charizard Raid event, and we are going to be exploiting this raid event. So if you don't have the raid event, you need to connect online. So you want to go to your Poke Portal. And then in your Poke Portal, you're going to go down to the Mystery Gift option if you don't have it up here yet. And in Mystery Gifts, we're going to check the Poke Portal news. And it's going to connect you online. And if you're doing this during the Charizard event, it will now put the Charizard event raids throughout your game. And if you still don't see the raids in your game, you may have not have beaten the post game. So you do need to beat the post game, which means beating the entire game then doing the academy tournament, and then unlocking six-star raids by completing five to ten five-star raids once Jocks tells you to do so. Now, these Charizard raids will appear as Dragon Terra raids on the map, and they'll be always be black. So you, once you see one of these, you know it's going to be the Charizard raid. Now, how do we actually farm this? Well, one, you want to play the game in offline mode. The biggest reason for this is when the event ends and you're still playing in offline mode, your Charizard raids will still stay. So you can do this forever and ever as long as you never go online to trade or you go online to join other people's raids or you play competitive Pokemon online. So as long as you're not doing those things, this Charizard raid will stay forever until you want it to go. So just keep that in mind. So one, you need to farm this Charizard. And the first step is you need a Pokemon that can solo it because we can't go online to do this, obviously. Fluttermane is an absolute beast of a solo here. Uh, you have the item Covert Cloak. Covert Cloak will allow you to not get confused and it won't let you get burned. So that's going to be really good because Hurricane is a threat for sure. The move set you want for Fluttermane is going to be Moonblast, Fake Tears, Draining Kiss, and Calm Mind. Fake Tears lowers the special defense by two. Calm Mind increases our special attack and special defense by one. The Charizard we're facing only has special attacking moves. So I actually went with max HP and max Spadef on my Fluttermane. And I went with a modest nature to increase our special attacking stat. Drain Kisses allows us to get HP back. And Moonblast is our big damage dealing move. And because the Charizard is always going to be Dragon type, we'll always do super effective damage here. Of course, for best results, you want to change your Terra type to Fairy. But that is up to you at the end of the day. It's still going to perform well without the Fairy Terra. But it will make your time a lot faster and easier. So I do recommend it. And if you don't have a Flutter Main, I recommend picking up a Sylveon with his hidden ability. And using like Calm Mind and Hyper Voice. And you'll be doing big damage with that too. But Flutter Main overall is going to be the best solo for this raid. Now the Charizard raid drops tons of great items from extra large candies large candies also ability patches would sell for a ton and are incredibly useful as well lots of calciums lots of dragon terra shards and we want as many items as possible so what we're going to be doing here is what well, i'm just always going to recommend saving our game first because we have the charizard right here and then we're going to make a picnic and we're going to be using a picnic recipe that increases the raid item drop because we want to be as optimal as possible, and this will last for a whole 30 minutes. So we're going to go to our picnic, and we're going to make a sandwich. And we're going to make a Dragon Raid Boost Sandwich. So you want to go to Creative Mode here. And if you need to get the ingredients, I recommend going to the Electric Gym City. Go to the Sure Cans. Go to the Supermarket. Go to the Deli. It's going to have all the items you'll ever need for any recipe anyways. So just definitely check that out and stock up on everything you're going to need. So for the dragon sandwich here, I'm going to need one avocado. And then I'm going to need three chorizos. And I'm going to need two potato salads. And then from there, we actually just need a pepper. And then we need two whipped creams. And then any sort of pick. And then we're just going to make our sandwich. Of course, if you like make a mistake on your sandwich, it's going to change the outcome most likely, which is a big reason why we actually save our game first. I'm going to put the potato salads on first just because they're big and bulky on the bottom. Now, the chorizos can be a little bit difficult, but they can balance up on the potato salad. So try to just like line them up sort of like this. Uh, it can be a little bit difficult to do this, but the good news is these last for 30 minutes. So once you nail it done once, you are good to go and you'll be able to do a ton of raids within that 30 minutes there's three more chorizos for us and don't be worried about stacking them we should be good to go here 
And it's still on the table. And yep, yeah, perfect. And one more. We're good to go. Drop the bread off the table and put the pick in. And we're good. That was a little bit sketchy. I'm not going to lie. But it never actually fully came off the sandwich. So it does count. Now we can look at the results here. And we're going to see dragon level two is going to be here. So raid power level two for dragon. That's all we care about. So now that we have that, we can quit out. And if you hit right on the D-pad, you can see that we have 30 minutes to do this raid. Now we just got to head over to the raid. And we're going to ch hit challenge alone with the flutter main. And we're going to be good to go. And it's very important with doing these raids that you want to set yourself up. And you want to debuff the opponent before you start attacking. Our goal is to do as much damage as possible and as quickly as possible. But a raid should take maybe about four to six minutes so you can probably get like you know four to five raids in per depending on how good you are and how good the rng is at the end of the day we defeated the charizard and we got a lot of terra shards a lot of experience candy so much experience candy actually even a modest mint so this was pretty big on the experience but of course you can sell all of these items if you don't want them the calciums actually go for quite a bit and we even got a comet shard too now that we defeated the charizard we need to get another charizard raid because you check the map there's gonna be no other black raids for charizard you may have another six star raid but it's not gonna be the event charizard raid so how to do that is all we're gonna do is hit the home button we're gonna go to system settings we go all the way down to system we're going to go to date and time. You want to make sure this is disconnected from the internet. Go to date and time. And then you can just move it one forward. One day forward. And then we're going to go back to the game. And you can see that a new raid has popped up here. That's not the Charizard raid. But we did get the message that new raids were popping up in Mass Outbreak. Oh, it's right here. It was right here. Right in front of me the entire time. So now you just got to rinse, wash, and repeat this until you're done with that sandwich. And then... Once you're done with the sandwich, you just make another sandwich and try it again. Now, our second Charizard Ray was pretty phenomenal because we got the ability patch which sells for 125,000. So you really only need like eight of those to get 1 million. And this is one of the big reasons why this gives so much money. Of course, so much experience candies again, so many calciums, star pieces to sell, calciums to sell, Comet Shard as well all these rare candies too so the experience is here and the money and this is why this charizard method is so good their rare candies sell for a pretty good amount especially the experience candies as well but i think those are best kept just for using on your pokemon but you don't need a lot of calcium so 2500 per calcium is pretty massive i mean if we were to sell all of that that is going to be about a third of the way to 1 million alone right there which is pretty phenomenal of course like i said every ability patch you get it's gonna be crazy so if you get as many as i have that is 10 million right there it's absolutely ridiculous the money items are pretty good i mean star pieces sell for six thousand each one which is great comet shards sell for twelve thousand five hundred. so you can see how you're gonna end up making a ton of money just from using this charizard raid method and get a ton of experience points too well, guys, I hope this guide was helpful for you. Happy hunting. And don't forget, you can only catch a Charizard once, so make sure to at least catch it one time. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And, of course, if you liked the video, please subscribe. Like the video, too. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, and have a good one.